the champions out of the Northeastern Conference, St. Francis. Here's what the top half of the Albany region looks like. Later on today, we'll have a rematch of last year's second round matchup between Miami and Quinnipiac. Third meeting all time between St. Francis and UConn. And Gabby Williams wins the tip. Gabby Williams did not play in the American Conference Tournament semifinals. She did play in the championship. And the American Conference Player of the Year, Katie Lou Samuelson, gets UConn on the board. Caitlin Cole quickly answers for St. Francis. Let's get used to that pace, because that's what the Red Flash want to do. Good answer by Con Men's 16 seed to win an NCAA tournament game against a one seed. How about... Had an incredible player by the name of Allison Feaster who yep. ended up having a long professional Feaster career. Call, yeah. Play Connecticut and they say, you know what, we're going to slow it down. We're going to try and really, really have efficient possessions and we don't want them to... Francis. Nope. Collier has six and the steal. Collier has eight, and Daly with Nafisa Collier. Looks like it's the type of day where she's going to have her way on the offensive end. This way. Williams stumbling and finished. Third fastest pace in the country in terms of possessions per 40 minutes. But some early turnovers, and Gabby Williams getting it done. Nearly a travel, a steal by Williams. And the easy two for Samuelson. Nurse's eyes on that play. She knew she had Katie Lou Samuelson open for a layup. And I think that's what helped cause the turnover. Nice play. Beautiful pass by Williams to Nurse. And try to extend the defense. That's just a beautiful lead by Samuel. The excellent guard, Crystal Dangerfield. Tipped by Collier. She saved it to Nurse. And Williams with the cut for the layup. Roll. Samuelson. Her second three. Well, UConn has responded to this pace very impressively. Williams with the left. Azaray Stevens, the Newcomer of the year and sixth player of the year in the American Conference. An impressive contest. And she sets up Katie Lou Samuelson. Good post up by Stevens. Got her on miss. In UConn system where it's such a read and react and play off one another and play off the, the defense. Controls three. And then she's on the run out, finding Samuelson. The crispness. Alma Mater in the second round. Yeah. Good looking shot by Maya Wynn. In off the bench for UConn. Tight quarters for Haley. Samuelson to Stevens. Good chunk of this season. Kovach had that one blocked. You know, there's not many players, Adam, that can not just survive, but thrive with mental reps. Reps by watching, and you have to be able to ingest the game plan, and you have to be able to go out and, and impact. Here's Collier to Walker. For three. A fifth. Albany Regional for the Yukon Huskies. Features some stiff competition, including South Carolina. Good finish by Nurse with the Francis is here. Joe's whole family is here today as well, except for his oldest. They are Hoops family. Straight love, up basketball yeah. family, Joe Haig and the crew. I love talking with their family yesterday about. St. Francis has never won an NCAA tournament game. CAA yes. championships. It's a big day for Haley Thomas. To Jill Scott, a member of this team who is on the bench right now. They know a lot of these. Here's Collier. 
They're just so 68 and counting with six minutes left here in the first half. Nurse. I mean, the, the pace is obviously what's fueling the points, yeah, right? Exactly. You get a 16 seed against a one. A lot of those seeds will try to slow the game down. We don't want. Maria will see if LSU can make a comeback. A Tiger team that played really. We might have, uh, oh, I don't want to call it a true home game for Quinnipiac as Walker puts it in. Walker, good patience. Collier, the offensive rebound, finding Nurse. Kyla Irwin is into the game, playing against some of her area mates from her high school days. This is unprecedented. Yes. Stevens got her on miss and put it back in. That was by Alabama against Duke. That was a four overtime game as Thomas hits a three today, too. Well, they've already taken 28. They're, they're, they're well above pace, <laughs> well above pace. Stevens lays it in, 92 seconds left. Samuelson to Nurse. The most impressive half in NCAA tournament history, 94. The most impressive offensive half in women's basketball history at the Division I level. Picking up right where they left off with opening half of play. Zeza hits a three. A double on Collier, so Katie Lou Samuelson will. I think you, that's a pretty safe I, I, I feel bet. safe. Yeah. I feel safe. Samuelson misses. And Collier's there. 17 minutes or so, both sides. Oh, well, and you look at UConn. It's about their pace well and enjoy the and, and enjoy the experience. And people say, well, enjoy the experience. You're down by 70 points. Good players, good basketball, and they're getting a chance to, to play in front of probably their largest crowd of the season. <laughs> I can appreciate that as well. As you should. Stevens finishes. Yeah. And they look like it's an alley that you can exploit, yeah. or it looks like you can get there, or you can make that pass. And Gabby wins. You see, had to rest time before the NCAA tournament. So, if you're a UConn fan and if you're Gino Ariema, you're holding sure, right. fair point. You're, you're 32 games in, you get into March, you're a team that consistently. Don't, don't, get, don't get used to this, pal. Don't, yeah, don't get used to it because this is the absolute best you're going to feel for the next half a year. Oh. <laughs> Beginning of camp, this is as good as you're about to feel this for the is, next six months. You got it. This is as good as it gets, brother. Back at the buzzer to force overtime, and they would eventually go on to win in double OT. Kovach with the steal in the lane. Yeah, nice. Here is Stevens. Nice move on Zeza. Now the starters are done. Ratuli Kamara is in. Kyla Irwin is in. First, as you accurately predicted, Kara. Fourth quarter rolls around. Geno's starters are done. They'll get to rest up for month. Here it is. CAA tournament game. Just another superlative to add. Gordon misses. Kamara with the offensive rebound. Walker to the line. The guy who was in high school. He was a high school business teacher. As Walker hits the third. director, came to St. Francis under Susan Robinson Fructal as an assistant. And now has the head job with good reason at St. Francis. Kamara missed it. Saved it to Gordon for two. Now UConn is going to face either Miami or Quinnipiac on Monday in the second round with the winner headed to the Sweet 16 in Albany. Tough. Ben to Irwin. Performance offensively in the history of the Division I Women's Basketball Tournament. 140 points put up by the UConn Huskies. 
on to the second round. Ladies and gentlemen, final score, Utah 140, St. Francis 50.